Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry and his decision to attend King Charles' coronation was just to be fuel for his next memoir. But one of Meghan Markle's ex-friends warns the move backfired spectacularly. Liz Cundy, a former friend of the Duchess of Sussex, also accused Meghan of making a poor excuse for not being part of the coronation festivities. And question marks were raised over whether or not the Sussexes were likely to come to Britain for King Charles crowning in Westminster Abbey. Insiders claim the couple were concerned about security details around the visit, but eventually released a statement confirming Prince Harry's decision to attend. While noting that Meghan would remain stateside to be with her two young children, including Archie, who would celebrate his fourth birthday on the day of coronation. It was only the Duke of Sussex who appeared for the King's coronation, without Meghan. And now new figures suggest revelations and allegations in recent months by Meghan and Prince Harry did not damage the institution as much as had been feared. On the other side, millions of Britons were glued to their screen on the day of coronation of King Charles, and newly released figures from research organization Barb showed the audience in the UK peaked at 20.4 million just after midday when the monarch was crowned. Breakdown of the figure shows the majority of people, 13.4 million, watched the event on BBC One, 3.6 million followed the coronation ITV, and 1.5 million via BBC Two. And these massive figures topped several other royal events, including the Platinum Jubilee concert held in June, the viewership of which peaked at some 13.4 million viewers, and the Duke and Duchess wedding dating back to May 19, 2018, which had a peak audience of 17.9 million in the UK. The service during which the King and Queen Camilla were crowned by the Archbishop of Canterbury, on the other hand, was watched by fewer people than the wedding of Kate, Princess of Wales, and Prince William, which in 2011 was followed on TV in the UK by some 24 million viewers at peak, and Queen Elizabeth's funeral, which attracted more than 28 million viewers last September. These huge figures suggest the interest in the royal family and monarchy is still massive, and the release of the Sussex's Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan last year, which include allegations against the firm of unconscious bias and palace briefings to press against the Duke and Duchess, brought one source to wonder what the goal of the two California-based royals was. They told the Mail in December, it looks as if they just want to bring down the monarchy. What else could they help to achieve by this? It was a slight insidious attack from start to finish. What do you guys think? Do you think Harry and Meghan's coronation nightmare just came true as their plot to bring havoc and celebration failed miserably? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.